Okay, so in this video, what we're gonna do is to look at and integrate some of the things that we've talked about using XLOOKUP into the context that we see time and again. And the one that we're gonna talk about here is scenario analysis. Scenario analysis, a common part of what you do in finance, you're putting together a financial output and you want to build multiple scenarios to see how that that those financial outputs might be flexed based on those different assumptions for the future. So here we've got a historical year um, for revenue all the way down to net income. And then you've got forecast starting in 2021 all the way through to 2024. Now, what I'm going to show you here is if you've got these um, cases, right? So there are three potential cases in this example using data validation for a best case management case and a weak case for the four things that are really driving this forecast, right? So I'm going to have a case for revenue growth. So if revenue started, so if revenue started as a billion dollars, or let's say this is denominated in millions, so this is a billion dollars and now it's growing by 20% and then it's growing by 17%, 14%. This is the management case. And then you have potential, you know, strong cases or a best case or a weak case around it. And we don't need to particularly worry ourselves with the actual substance of the numbers or where we got these from. What I want to focus is on focus us on is the Excel mechanics. And in this case, simply what I want to do is I want this to spit out the correct results so that when the user selects management case, the management case for revenue growth is what you see here. The management case is what you see for cost of goods sold, SG&A and tax rate. And you see we have all of that listed here as well, right? So we've got all these cases with different results for different years for these four data points and I want them spit out here. Now, the way to do this prior to XLOOKUP is again, you can do either an index match, an offset match or a really long if statement. You could say, you know, if this equals management case, I mean, this is probably the worst way to do it because it's time consuming and error prone. If this equals management case, then go in here. Otherwise, go into, um, otherwise, if this cell equals, you see where I'm going with this, definitely not a good use of anyone's time. If this equals best case, then do something else, right? We don't wanna do that. XLOOKUP is going to make our lives much easier. Index match is what we used to have to do for this. So now let's see how XLOOKUP gets the job done. This is just a slight re, re sort of formulation of work we've already done in prior videos. So the lookup value in this case is going to be that management case. I'm gonna copy and paste that across so preemptively. I'm gonna lock that cell by hitting F4. I'm gonna define the lookup array. And really it doesn't actually, I just gotta find, I've got like four places where I see best case, management case, and weak case all together. I'm gonna to define that lookup array here and I'm going to anchor that as well. And the return array in this case is simply these Cells. Now, if I want to take advantage of XLOOKUP's array functionality where I don't have to, I don't even have to bother with copying and pasting across, the magic of this here is I close this, I've put in three simple arguments, and just like that, just like magic, Excel will spill everything over exactly as I want, and I can check that to make sure it's working properly by testing this, and in fact, I have that, and if my model is correctly um, pulling everything here, well then um, I've got the model output being dependent on this XLOOKUP derived assumption that comes from my scenarios. Now all I have to do is do the same thing across all four scenarios. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to sort of make my life a little easier here. I'm gonna go down and I'm going to, I'm going to just do that. And just like that, all of these fill out across. I'm gonna copy and paste this down. Notice it doesn't actually matter that I sort of retain the original cases because they're the same across the board. Copy and paste and within, within really seconds here, I've been able to create this awesome scenario analysis that um, gets the job done. And let me actually fix the formatting. This is bothering me. So I'm gonna fix the formatting and you see that it's all done in two seconds. Now I can flex scenarios and get the job done quite easily. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed that, a really quick scenario analysis using XLOOKUP.